what's up guys welcome back again so here's a quick throwback you guys remember the old browser when the first time we saw some of the third party browser who are offering to save us username and the password and after some time some third party manufacturer came like the one pass or dash lane they're offering you a password manager kind of uh, things are there so this thing is now being broadly optimized with the google itself the latest android oreos running devices there is a feature called as a autofill so google itself is offering this feature so in summary what is that suppose you're going to log into any application or any of the uh, website or whatever if you're just trying to store your username and password Google will offer you a feature called as a autofill, you know, the first time Google will store it to their own servers and the next time if you're going to log into the same application on the same device or any of the other devices using the same Google account, Google will offer you, you know, to just show you all the username and the password whichever you have typed in earlier. So it's kind of password manager. So there are so many applications are there but the one I'm using always is from the Google. Now this needs... Uh, Android Oreo as a base because this is an Android Oreo exclusive feature. It's a very nice feature so be sure to check out the Android Oreo playlist for all the complete list of Android Oreo feature. Now this video is basically you know to show you guys how to fix that problem. I'm getting so many comments each day. A lot of you guys have a problem having this you know enabling autofill services. So what are devices you have uh, if you got the Android 8.0 and above definitely you can use this feature. So let's get started to see how to enable this autofill service in any Android device running Android Oreo. So guys, here's the device. I'm going to show you guys the demo on that thing. This is OnePlus 3 running the official Android Oreo Oxygen OS 5.0 version. So uh, things will be same. You just have to look, go to the proper place and setting. Maybe UIs and tweaks are different. So anyway guys, this is the device and, and here is a quick, I will show you on the Nokia 8 when this thing is working, how does it look like? So this is completely next to the stock phone. So just search on the auto and uh, you should see something like auto full service. So here it is, you can see already I have this thing working autofill with the Google. Now uh, if you just try to uh, search the same thing on the device which doesn't have this feature working, auto you can see the autofill service. So I don't have this autofill with Google so that is what we are going to fix it. Now to fix that thing simply go to the application setting listing and find for the Google Play services there. So once you find this Google Play services entry you have to go to the storage section. So inside the storage you make sure you have to go to the manage space and try to clear all the data so don't worry it won't remove your google account you just have to clear all the data all the cache everything will be cleared and after that you just have to simply do a quick reboot that should fix the problem in almost all the cases so once your device is uh, back online we'll verify and see that so here it is device is back i'm just quickly going to the language input or you can just search for the auto you will get to the same place autofill service now you can see i have got this autofill with google back so just select it here so it will give you a proper warning or message just click on the ok like you're trusting the google application now here's the quick demo since i'm using this on other devices so i'm just going to uh, show you guys here. i'm going to add a new account that means new address so google will show you tap to let google fill this form for you that means from all this thing to data so google will show me this thing you just have to accept this and click on the continue it's showing me the possible accounts that I've already used in other devices with the same linked Google account. So I don't have to type anything else. It has simply just taken, sent me a verification code. Once I'll verify the device, I will have this Autofill service working on this new device also. So guys, there it is, a quick fix how to enable the Android Oreo Autofill service. And be sure to check out all other features like picture and picture mode and other cool stuff. So I have the link in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Saurabh. I'll catch you soon. Have a great day.